Hello there, again, I'm Teacher Kath and welcome back to my channel. Before I introduce to you the lesson today, shout out ko muna Sina, Jess, and Mel Sampaga TV and Ms. Ivy Clotario. Thank you so much for watching. In this video, I want you to focus first on this statement that says social media is a dangerous place to seek information, acceptance, identity, and security. This statement is from Cornelius Lancey. And the question is, do you agree or disagree with this passage? What do you think? And for me to know the feedback of my students regarding this statement, I've gathered some of their answers. And let's try to read their responses. And here is the first feedback. Okay. I totally agree with this passage because research shows that social media is associated with low self-esteem, envy, stress, depression and emotional exhaustion and for the second feedback i think cornelius lenze is right when he stated that social media is dangerous place to seek information because of fake news or misinformation on critical issues spreading around different online platforms that's a good point, but social media is a big help for people doing business online and gaining customer satisfaction with their services. And the fourth one says, I understand, but social media also offers great information that helps us grow. So you need to check first the reliability of its source. So, ito yung pang-apat na feedback. Ano yung mga napansin natin sa mga feedback na ibinigay ng mga estudyante? Ang una at ang pangalawang feedback ay nagpapakita ng agreement o pagsang-ayon doon sa passage about social media. And then, gumamit sila ng mga expressions na I totally agree and I think... Cornelius Lensay is right. So, yon. Yun yung mga expressions na ginamit nila to show agreement with the passage. On the contrary, yung pangatlo at pangapat na feedback ay nagpapakita ng disagreement through the use of ano yung ginamit doon. That's a good point, but maganda yung point mo. Okay? Maganda yung punto. Pero, so yun, okay? Yun yung uh, expression na ginamit ng student. And then, dun sa pang-apat na feedback, ano yung ginamit niya doon to show this agreement? The expression used here is, I understand, but... Therefore, it's always up to you to agree or disagree with the statement. And this is what we're going to talk about. Okay, ito yung lesson natin ngayon. It's about giving feedback through agreement and disagreement. But how do we properly agree? When discussing something and speaking or writing, we may agree in some 100%. Or agree in some aspects, but not necessarily 100%. Here is a list of expressions used in agreeing fully and partially. So here are the expressions used in agreement. Ito yung mga expressions na ginagamit natin kung tayo ay sasang ayon sa isang bagay o sa isang tao. As you can see here, okay, under agree strongly ano yung mga expressions na ginagamit natin we can say i totally agree definitely absolutely i'm sure i couldn't agree more 
So, ito yung mga halimbawa na expressions, okay, to agree strongly about something or with someone. And for the agree part, okay, ano yung mga expressions na nandito? We have, I agree, I think so, I guess so, I suppose so, I think you're right. Alright, so ito yung mga ginagamit natin when we simply agree to something or with someone. And if you're not totally agree, kung hindi ka 100% uma-agree, here are some expressions. You can say maybe, possibly, perhaps, I'm not sure about that. So yun, yun yung mga expressions na pwede mong gamitin. And how about those expressions used in disagreement? Ano-ano naman yung mga expressions na pwede natin gamitin kung tayo ay hindi sasang-ayon sa isang bagay o sa isang tao? Okay, so here are some examples of expressions to disagree strongly. Ano yung mga expressions na pwede natin gamitin? We can say, I completely disagree. And then you can also say, definitely not. And then, I don't think so. Or, that's not true at all. So, yun yung mga expressions to disagree strongly about something or against someone. How about the expressions used to simply disagree about something or against someone? The examples are, I understand, but, so dudugtungan nyo na yan. And then you can also start your statement with, that's a good point, but, alright? And then for the third one, I can see your point of view, but, and for the fourth one, I see what you're getting at, but... Kung napansin natin, uh, the way na magdi-disagree tayo sa isang bagay or against someone, make it sure na hindi rude yung dating. Okay? So, dapat nandun pa rin yung pagiging polite mo when you are disagreeing about something or against someone. And please remember that there are words and phrases you can use to express agreement and disagreement. And also, you can use expressions stating agreement if you have the same opinion with the person or the material being presented. And you can express disagreement if you have different opinions from someone else or the presented material but make sure again na dapat polite pa rin yung dating nyo okay kung hindi ka man sang ayon sa isang bagay o hindi ka sang ayon dun sa sinabi ng isang tao alright and that's it for our today's video hopefully you've learned something from our discussion today and if you have questions or clarifications about this lesson then you are free to leave your comment down below again thank you so much for watching and happy learning everyone bye